When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. We have to take turns at night shift. Three hours on, three hours off. <laughs> so I find it hard to take my eyes off where we're going, but as I'm trying to nod out of sleep, I have a look up. And then I look back and Sarah's on her shift and she's asleep. And she's like, and she's pranking me. She's <laughs> I'm awake. totally joking. No, it's, sometimes it's not real relaxing when, you know, no it's one's watching where funny. we're going. <laughs> I was what so tell us honey what do you enjoy most about sailing definitely downwind sailing when you're on a run it's just really nice relaxing yeah. you're not getting it's bounced nice. around you gotta follow the winds with this sailing business so what we're doing is we're heading south again our plan was to head probably further north we wanted to get up to early beach or at least the bit Sundays and yeah get a good burger from that really cool place <laughs> But as fate will have it, we are turning around because there is mostly northerlies and and storm season. It is cyclone, cyclone season. season, see. And also we've had a little bit of trouble with our propeller, our gearbox, which we found out we need a new prop. So a prop. we're gonna head towards home, wrap up everything completely, and go again. That'll be fun. Sorry. Have you missed school? Not that much, kind of. Yeah. yeah? Do you prefer to go to boat school? Or do you prefer to be at... I like boat school a lot more. Yeah. I think Bella's just in her own little world up the front of the boat. I'm going to sneak up on... Coming into Hamaki Islands and we're just working out whether to anchor on this side or go around and check out the other side. Last time we were here we went around to the other side so we will just have a look, have a feel because we'd hate to put our anchor down and end up being somewhere where it's really rolly because that's really uncomfortable. Here we are at the other side of Hamaki Island. We came around and it's a lot less rocky. So that's very nice. Bella's throwing out her rod, seeing if she can catch a fish. And Taj's doing some comprehension. So we're just pulling up the anchor at Hamaki Island and the anchor's stark as a bay. Just the chain stuck. Go the other way, Taz. Keep letting it out, Bella. What are we doing to our science? Yeah. He's asked for my help and it's about knowing the inside of a computer and I don't really know. So I think we're gonna have to Google something. That's alright, we'll both learn something today. Are you gonna do your schoolwork today? Yeah. Are you gonna, why don't you do it now? Yeah, but we're gonna get to an island that you're gonna wanna go and play on. And explore. Eight hours. Eight hours away. So, is it eight hours away? 
Is it eight hours away, Captain? Holy At least, yeah, but the wind's going to pick up. Wind Don't wait. We're only doing like three knots. The wind picks up, it's going to be less than that. I'd get it over and done with. Six, eight hours better. Okay. When the wind picks up, what is it going to be? What are you doing, bud? Just drawing. Just drawing? Yeah. <laughs> Looks pretty cool. Very nice. These are little Posca pens. Good job, bud. Our next stop, we arrived at Masthead Island, where we were very quick to go ashore to see if we could see some turtles laying. Hey, Belle. The telpa's out there. It's pretty nice. We're just going for a walk to see if we can see some turtles laying, because we saw on the binoculars there was lots of turtle tracks. So I thought we'd come over and have a little bit of a look. These trees are awesome. And we've got a bit more than a half a moon. So we've got some turtle tracks. So it would have been a mama turtle coming up the beach to lay her eggs. So we've got a turtle just in front of us that we think is going to come out and start its making its way up the beach to lay. So we're sitting here as still as we can and as quiet as we can so we don't want to spook him or her, <laughs> not him. There's another two the out the back, to the left there. Don't move. Don't move. I just had a look. There's a few popping their heads up. Yeah. Oh, so we're sitting here waiting for that turtle to come out, but we just realised there's two in there, and they're making some splashing. So I think they are mating. She just got spooked by us. <laughs> we were just walking along, I didn't know she was there. She's just looked up and now she's going back out, so I'm sorry. We'll move along and then you can have another go. This is the same turtle we just saw. She just went up the beach a little bit further. She's going to make her way out and lay her eggs. She comes. So we're just leaving Mast Island, heading towards Lady Musgrave, hopefully today. He didn't get much sleep last night, so he's a little bit cranky. This is going to make him even more cranky. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags.
legs and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Get that from a data cooking every night. Is that right, Belle? Oh yeah. <laughs> I win. I've got right. tomato. Yeah. Um, pumpkin. Yeah. And zucchini. Oh. Good job, babe. Join us for our next episode as we get some storms come through and rain to fill our water tanks. We also get excited as our friends come to stay with us at Lady Musgrave Island. Hey, Amy Kitty, you're so fine. You're my mind. Hey, Mickey.